Hello everyone, um, this is Ms. Matili, your history teacher. I hope you are doing well, safe and sound. In this tutorial, tutorial, I will discuss the material included for week number 10. So let's start with the first day of this week, the 5th of November. Um, so on this day, you are going to continue working on the CMI project. You're going to prepare for um, the, I would say, the progression or the outcome. Um, of the project titled The Journey to Moksha, A Wheel of Reincarna Reincarnation. Um, you, were, you are going to continue working in groups to create two contrasting wheels representing an individual's journey towards or away from Moksha, and each wheel should contain cre creative symbols, drawings, and explanations related to the achievements of, or failure of Moksha based on specific actions and beliefs. These are, I would say, the word well, karma, dharma, ahimsa, brahman, ottoman, and so on. You you have PPTs that will aid um, that will aid you throughout the process. PPT on Hinduism, PPT on reincarnation. You also have tutorials that will aid your understanding. And here is a reminder the interactive of the interactive activity, which is the project objectives and the steps that you need to take and the required um, or assigned topics that you need to work on, yeah? So, and you also have here aiding tools and in the form of leading questions to will aid you throughout the process. Now, on the second day of this week, um, you are going, all the, I would say, groups will present, each group should present for 10 minutes, their findings and their wheel that they constructed according or in regards to the assigned topic, yeah. Um, on the third day of this week, um, you are going to start. We are going to start discussing um, Buddhism, right? So we are done with Hinduism up to this point. We're going to start with Buddhism. You will engage in researching and creating a visual representation of key con aspects of Buddhism through, our, through collaborative uh, group work, including the life of Siddhartha for the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, the connection between Buddhism and Hinduism, and the spread and decline of Buddhism. It will enhance your understanding of Buddhism's origins, teachings, and historical context. Um, you have the key concepts here. We have Siddhartha Gautama, Buddha and Enlightenment, and Nirvana, um, the branches of Buddhism, the spread of Buddhism, the Four Noble Truths, and so on. You also have a PPT here to aid your understanding of Buddhism. You have also tutorials to aid your understanding throughout the process. As for the project itself, um, it will be distributed into groups, um, in three groups. Group number one will discuss the life of Buddha, uh, of Siddhartha Gautama, how did he become the Buddha. Group number two will explain the Buddha's teachings which includes the Eightfold Paths and the Four Noble Truths. Group number three will um, discuss the Buddhism's spread and decline. Yeah? So here you also have leading ideas that will aid your uh, understanding of the project and throughout the process, the process, of course. Now, the fourth week of, th fourth day, sorry, of this week, you're going to Continue working on the project inside of the class, but please mark the fact that you need to work after school, right? So you have here more tutorials to aid your understanding. You also have more leading questions that will actually lead your process. On the last day of this week, um, you are going, um, each, all the groups will actually present their work. Um, each group will be given up to 15 minutes to present. Uh, we will discuss main, the main ideas that you stressed. Um, and yeah, that's it. So you have also here some, um, I would say, guiding ideas and tips for your presentations in reference to each and every group. And that's it. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.